Hey, what's up, boys? Which of you here? Welcome back to the second episode of the Guitar Hero Roundoff. Now, two weeks ago, I made my first episode, and that was about the information about Guitar Hero Live, about more information about the game and all that. And I felt that there's some good things in there. Now, you're on the second episode, and maybe thinking, what the hell is this episode? Because you might not watch the first one. So, I'm going to recap for you guys right now. It is basically all about Guitar Hero. From now until the launch of the game, Basically, we're going to be talking about Guitar Hero from different categories, different things that we like about the games, about the guitar controllers, which we're going to be talking about today, and a whole lot of stuff. Also, on the top right-hand side here, we are 50, 58 days left in the UK until the game comes release, or in the US and the other countries, 55 days. So today, guys, we are going to be talking about the Guitar Hero controllers from back from the PlayStation 2 area to the Xbox 360 area. So back in 2005... Harmonix and Red Octane wanted to make a game that is fun for everyone to play, and it's quite, you know, addictive. And uh, if you guys are wondering as well, Harmonix, that's the same guys that made Rock Band. And Rock Band, I'm not a huge fan of in an entire series, but I have played them, and it was alright. It's a decent game, honestly. So, Harmonix and Red Octane wanted to make a game, you know, so everyone can play, you know, with a new style that everyone can do. And that is... Guitar Hero. Now, you're thinking about Guitar Hero, you're thinking it's going to be like, you know, a natural guitar with, you know, with some things to it. And I don't have the first edition guitar, I have number two. And this was the second one, but they just, just basically changed it from it. This is the first guitar I own. And let me stand up for this one. That this one, basically, if you imagine it, this was black, you know, black, black, you know, guitar with red, you know, with the red front, I think it was. Let me have that quickly. No, black and white. I apologise for that. However, the first game had some good things to it, but had some bad things as well at the same time. But the first guitar, this was the first one I had when I was when I, when I was twelve years old. I remembered, um, remember going around my um, sister's brother, my sister's uh, ex boyfriend's um, house and with uh, my was brother was in, and um, he was playing Guitar Hero Two, which was this guitar right here. And I think, you know, I, m I remember he he lent us the entire, he lent us the guitar and the game. And, um, with it, basically, we played it for about a week and a half. And with that, I got my own, own one at the end of my, um, end, end, end of school time, which was quite cool. And, generally, the feel of this guitar is actually quite nice. I like the way it feels, just because, you know, I like the way, you know... That every button is every button is different. Every, everything's different. And the first time I played this, I was like, "Oh my god, I don't know how am I gonna do this." I remember playing it on easy first because I know it's these three buttons. I know it's like one, one, one. But I remember every single time I'm playing it on Guitar Hero Two on each difficulty, thinking, "All right, finish this one, do next difficulty." And then once I finished it, it just got it just felt more easier to play. And what I love about it is, you know, it includes, you know, the strum bar. It's very cool, very easy to um, strum. I like the way that the colours are all, like, each one's different. Like, for example, green, red, yellow, blue, and orange. I remember if you're playing with easy difficulty, these three are, you know, your main three. And then you're playing medium, you've got the blue, hard and expert, the orange. And then you, when you're an expert, you play on all these five. Including the guitar solos are ridiculous. Also that the whammy bar. I think the whammy bar is the only thing I'm a little bit disappointed of. It's just a little bit stiff. And I don't say many things now that's stiff. But this is. It's quite stiff to move around. I'm moving it. I feel like I'm in, in a force. I remembered I think back when I was about 13, 14. I remember the whammy bar broke. And it was like down here. So I couldn't actually play it. And that was the first one. Now, the next guitar here, guitar that I actually picked up, was actually, um, I got this for the 360. I got this for the 360 for Guitar Hero 3. And you can also get this for Guitar Hero 2 as well, which was this guitar right here. I have completely, this is called the Exploder. I've completely forgotten what it's called now. No, it's the Exploder. This is one of my least favorite guitars in the entire series of Guitar Hero. Number one, it's, so, it's quite small, so you can't, you know, Get around it with your um. The, the thing on your neck, those um, I completely forgotten what they're called. 
But I remember that, you know, you go put them around and then you had it like this. The other thing about it is it's quite small and you can jam, you get cramps in your fingers more times. And I just feel like every time I go here, it, I bash my hands. Also that, the whammy bar is one of the worst things I hear about this. It's a, it's a lot smaller. It's a lot smaller than the other guitar, than the other first guitar here guitar that I've showed you guys. Also that. On the 316 PS3, you have these, um, these things here. I just feel like, you know, every time I'm trying to sing Star or Select, they're just so tiny, I can't do it. And the, the D-pad's fine, I don't mind it. Also that, it, it's also wired. So you have to plug this into your 360, and then you play this. Every time I'm rocking out, every time, pulls the thing back, I got disconnected. That is why I hate this guitar, like, from a degree. Also that, why is that there? Why is that for? I haven't even used that whatsoever. I used it like once, and that's about it. But that's why I hate this guitar. I wish I could smash it, but... I know, I pay, we, we got I got these... We paid a lot of money for these guitars. Next, let's talk about a guitar that is actually really cool. Now, back in the... I mean, I think so many years ago, they announced Guitar Hero World Tour. And basically... It's basically knows they added some new things. They added, they added a microphone feature. They added a, a drum feature. They also updated the guitar. And the guitar was this. <laughs> this is one of the things that I like about this guitar. It's a lot more bigger than the other two. By a degree. There's a lot more things to this than, you know, you can see. Number one. The frets are, more, are like, laid out more, more better than the other two. For example, um, green, you know, it's like these little stops here, that you know that you can stop here, go to that one, I thought, oh, sure, but I'll go to this one here. Also that, the one thing I love about this feature is the, it's the sliding panel. It's like these, it's basically, you're doing a guitar solo, they show up differently. So, for example, doing the Dragon Force, you can hold down this one here, and it'll just slide up and down every single time. That is so cool. Also that... This is wireless, and I love wireless things, and you know, things I can just like rock around, you know, playing this up, strumming up and down, up and down, pretty good. Also that, the whammy bar, a lot more, you know, movable now than, than the last one. I like the way, you know, I like the way, you know, it feels, you know, I like the way, you know, you can move it down so you don't have to get out of the way and you can just keep strumming. Now the bad things about this guitar, and this is some, some of the things I hate, is that, you know, the strum bar. And I love the first Guitar, guitar Hero strum bar. It was one of the best strum bars I have ever had, one of the best strum bars I've ever used. However, I don't mind using this guitar at times, but there's a little bump at, the, I mean, at these little top parts here, that you can see here. That feels like really, really hard a little bit. And I don't like that. Also that, strumming it is a little bit, you know, a little more clicky, a little more clickable now than the uh, last two. Yeah, so it's a little more, you know, clicky on it. Also that, the start and select buttons are quite, you know, small yet again. Why are they even smaller? I really don't know. Another good thing, I completely forgot about this. The other two guitar guitars, when you need to use star power, because it's a star power feature, you have to lift this up and then activate it. Cool thing, but now if you're playing on like medium and you want to get star power, this little button here, click that, you're on, your, you're good to go. And I use that feature a lot. It's like you know, playing on expert, and then I can just put my wrist, and then you can play this, play the entire guitar. Also, that another thing about the bad thing is about is the um, the chatting system on this. It's static the entire time. Every time I put a guitar hero head to be you know, like a headset in. And talk my face, it goes. Mm. That's like I just can't stand that, so I can't play anything like that. And another thing is a little bit heavier than the last two, because you know they're trying to do something a little bit different. But overall, this guitar is actually fantastic. Well, from a degree, I like the way you can. It's also a nice another thing is um, you can also detach it. So if you if you want to detach, you know, and go on the go. And you got a friend who has guitar here, but they haven't got a guitar. This thing here will do the goods. So that's the um, 
the other guitar guitar. Now, 2010, this uh, Warriors of Rock, one on, and this was like the last game in, in the series before it, the series went on ice. And this was one of the coolest guitars I have ever seen in my life. I love this guitar to bits. And this was the Battle Axe guitar. And every time I do Matchbox Out 2, this is the guitar I play a lot on. Because it's one of the better guitars you want to you wanna get in your collection. To play guitar here and all that. The reasons why this is a really good guitar is a really good guitar is because it's not that heavy than the last guitar. It felt it fits so well when you're playing the playing the game. It feels well. Also, that if you don't like the um the, the sliding colours, this one doesn't have it, and I like that because I don't use it, and you can just keep using hammers and ball offs. Also, that the um the bump is gone on this on the strum bar. It's more clickable and it's really good. Also that the start button is more bigger than the um than the other guitars, the other guitar guitars. Star power is more bigger, like that. The um home button is better, so you can just go back to the dashboard and all that. And uh also that the only thing I'm kinda like like why do they did this? They had a um a detachable top part. I really don't know why they did this, but I've got no idea. Also, that I like the I like the the art and the custom of this. You know, from its you know red inside to the black on the on the um the guitar and the um the top, which I like. But the way thing about I like the tops on different these guitars. Um, this one it's like a nice you know I think it's like a little knuckle top on this one. This one was a um a curve, quite decent, quite nice. And I like this one, which feels like an actual guitar. That's what I like about this one. But the weird thing I like about this one is these ones here are all silver, like, tuners and all that. Each one's different for tuners, but I like this one the best because it's got, like, little, like, thumbs-ups to them. And I like it. I like the thing that I'm actually playing like a rock star. And, uh, yeah. As well as that, I like about this. And this is what I'm going to show you. That's one of the coolest things I love about this game. Need batteries? You need to change the batteries? Click this button in. And if I can open it, of course, because I've used this for a long time. Click it in, push it out. You got batteries on one side. You also got a locking mechanism in this part here. I don't really use that. Put it back in. You're good to go, and you're playing another another good session. And this is why I love this guitar so much. I spent so many hours, so many days playing this guitar, or using it. I would probably say to a degree. Now with it, we have now got Guitar Hero Live. And I want to get my hands on this guitar. I don't know how I'm going to get it to do it. Maybe it has to be at launch day, or maybe if I'm fortunate enough to give it a little bit of a chance to play it early. I really don't know. I really don't know. I really like to really like to. But the weird, the weird thing about this I like about it is um, is that in they got another they got six frets: three top, three bomb. Three is black, bomb's white. And each difficulty is uh, a different. You know, is each difficulty is different. So maybe for, I think it's easier, I think it's, you know, you have the top three. Medium, hard, and expert is the, is all, but each difficulty is different um, configurations. So for example, medium, you're using like two but two bottom at times. Hard, maybe you're using it like two twos, twos. And expert, you're just like using it all over the place. All, all for, overall, my favourite is the Balax, for being like to a degree. And if you have played guitar here and you haven't used the Balax guitar, I recommend this guitar because it's actually a really guitar to use. Just because you can play it, it fits well in your hands. Like feeling, you know, you're, you know, feeling, you know, you're actually making chords with it. It's actually a really good thing about it. Thanks for watching another episode of Guitar Hero Roundoff. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that. I'm on Twitch, watch your views. Instagram, watch your views. Xbox Live, watch your views. And Twitch, I wouldn't score views. Thank you guys for watching this, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. See you later, peeps. Bye bye.